So, Resident Evil Village. The game people have been waiting on for a long time. Well, oh, everyone had their own reasons. Some people wanted it for the tits. Some wanted it for the ass. And a few, maybe even less tasty, wanted it for the gameplay. And I'm just gonna give my honest opinion, my thoughts, and overall, hopefully, a good review about it. Since I have played it through, and I wanted to share it with you, since usually if I do walkthrough videos, they never go full length. I just forget to do it and it gets sidetracked and upload something else. So, Big Mommy Milkers, the game. Everything starts off, well, every very nicely ethan and his girlfriend are chilling and all that and all of a sudden chris comes in and kills everybody <laughs> but that's not an important part let's get forward to when you actually meet the fucking vampire so everything seems fine until you kill one of her daughters then she instantly gets mad um cuts your hand off with her blades you get hunted down by the whole fucking family you get sent through them uh get sent through a maze of obstacles weird fucking monsters and everything like that and like the whole beginning of the game i actually think it was much more put together than resident evil uh, uh biohazard uh, which was there was little from the story at the very start and there wasn't anything much to actually put together the whole idea except you know that the family had um, kidnapped me anyways uh, overall the start was good i liked it uh, somewhere in the middle part the game already started showing some of its flaws but also they somehow managed to turn those flaws into upsides uh, let's say like in nearly every horror game you have to hunt down certain items to get past certain levels sometimes they're very fucking obvious and i fucking hate it that you technically need to solve a very difficult puzzle but it's basically shown in front of you, like on a wall. Oh yeah, pick, pick up this item and go here and all that. Here, it was more cryptic and it was more interesting. You, you never knew what certain items could uh, actually do for you. Like uh, the maiden's blood wine, or whatever it was called. A very nice looking bottle of wine, basically. Uh, you, ha you found it in the wine cellar. Uh, well, you had to put it in the wine room and it opened the secret doors to move forward and there was also the one with the light where there in the middle was a big torch hanging from the chains there was a puzzle I personally was stuck on it for a good 30 minutes 40 minutes trying to figure out what the fuck does it do and how, uh, how I'm supposed to do it then I found the crystal in the ceiling was like, hmm, maybe this should do it and try to apply it everywhere, but it didn't work. And then I realized, and I basically had to swing the torch to light two other torches for the secret door to open and so I could proceed forward. And I personally think it's very clever in a game like this to input such puzzles that also kind of fit the theme. Because in some other games it's been like, it's oh, over. you're hunting down monsters or something like that, and all of a sudden there's a puzzle of you putting toys together and putting them on pressure plates or yeah. relatively similar things. Nice things right. And overall, the boss fights, what? like the daughters and everything, Good. also seem rather clever. I need to get out of this place. Um, since all of them are vampires. You can use sunlight to your advantage, especially if there's like cracks in the walls and you blow a hole in it, which is recommended you do. 
you defeat them at least three to four times faster, especially if you lure them in the sunlight. That makes two. Also, hats off about that. But now, to the most important part of the game. Man thing. You won't live long, even the nine if you foot run. tall. Maybe even 12 feet. Who knows? All I know is that, well, there's so many mods of her. Nude, partially nude, and everything else. Even specific cutscenes made by mods. The community really have outdone themselves in this one. But. I'm at first gonna look at the base game without any adjustments to the files. Of course, um, she is quite difficult to escape in certain scenarios, let's say where you have to hunt down the masks, because well, at one moment you think you're safe, you find a mask and all of a sudden she's already behind you and you're stuck in the room and well, get sliced with her knife fingers. Uh, and, well, I cannot comment on my thoughts about the tits or the ass, because, well, I never really paid attention to that, except when I heard her nearby and I was like, oh fuck, I have to run away. Um, now, about the community, what I personally think has, was to be expected, but also, oh, fucking damn it. Y'all really outdid yourselves. The base game already itself Looks is like a very good game, game. but with the mods... Oh boy. Like, it's gone to the point where you can adjust the game to just be a porn fucking simulator. You can get mods even to the point where you run around with two dildos in your hands instead for the pistol or shotgun and hunt down the naked fucking vampire lady. I'm gonna just proceed on to call her the mommy milker because that's how we called call her also here whilst I was playing the game. And, uh, instead of like doing damage to her and shooting her, we have a specific created animation where one of the dildos goes up her ass and one up her fucking pooch. So, yeah, community has really worked their magic. The game has been out for maybe a month, less than a month. I'd say like two weeks, three weeks, it's all. Oh no, wait. It's nearly a month, so, so three and a half weeks just to go. So, uh, yeah. A lot of people made haste, went on holy crusades to hunt down the holy grail of Big Mommy Milker's Roll 34. Everything was full, but certain regretted pages were full of them. To an extent, I could say I was rather annoyed about that, because everyone is just going apeshit about it. The game itself is very good and well put together. Of course, there's always going to be some funny old guys in their fucking basements and like putting these mods together. Well, I'm actually not going to question it, otherwise, there's going to be a bunch of comments saying, like, oh, you don't understand it, you don't have the thought process of the people who actually make this. Maybe you're not even um, straight for. Uh, uh, there's a whole lot of shit happening. Out, happening. Anyway, people adjusting the game to basically just become a form simulator is the thing that bothers me the most. Why ruin a good game to the point where it's probably gonna get remembered within these next couple months? It's just. Base, fi base files that you need to adjust so you can just jack off for god knows how long. Whilst the story goes on, maybe there's going to be some add-ons and you're going to proceed to jack to the point where your screen is covered. 
this is not what games were made for, at least these kinds. And, uh, yeah, people like this in such games, especially in the Resident Evil franchise, are ruining the whole fucking game. I know I sidetracked a lot, but this is all my thoughts that came to when I saw Reddit, played the game myself, and also some very, very clickbaity videos on YouTube, and also everywhere else. Shit, I don't One dude on Discord sent a link to already a fully animated 3D, basically look the same as the game video. I'm not gonna say from which website, but I just can say it wasn't the game itself. It was Ethan going wild with Big Mommy Maker's Lady in front of her daughters. It was a GIF, so there was no sound. I suppose it was a work in progress, but I instantly removed that dude because god fucking damn it. I wasn't even completed with the game yet. Hadn't completed the game yet. So, yeah. Spoiler alert, I suppose. And after seeing that, I was like, holy shit, is that in the game? Because, like, well, first of all, it looked very well put together. Played through it. It was not there. I just killed the daughters, which well, gave more enjoyment, I suppose. And a big sigh of relief that nobody's gonna walk in the room whilst I'm playing this game and be like, what the fuck are you doing? So, that's that. I know this video was a bit messy. I thought the background footage also is gonna be a bit messy. But this is all my thoughts on this, everything I thought on the process so playing the game, seeing everything posted about it, all the character art, porn, whatever you want to call it, being posted everywhere. And probably ruining the game for most people who actually just enjoy the game as as it is. So hats off to you, the horny community. You have ruined yet another game. But I'm still gonna keep it in my library just to replay it a couple more times. Probably pump up the difficulty. But for nothing more or nothing less. All those horny teens can stay in their basements and jack to it. You're At this point cursed. I have gone numb to all of the fucking porn created about the game. This was Digital Control, ranting, slash reviewing, another game. If you would like to see a video like so about a certain other game that I should play through and then give my thoughts about it, feel free to leave a comment with the game title and I'll leave an honest opinion about it as well. And as always, see you in the next one.